back to another video. Today we're doing something crazy. We're quite nervous. It's crazy to us. It's crazy to us because we, as you guys know, or if you didn't know, we bought a boat a while ago and we've been kind of refurbishing it. Evan decided to kind of start, you know, making little changes here and there, tune up on the motor, and then he kind of got into the electricity part of it and it was crap. So he rewired the entire boat which is great. He caught it on fire, but fixed it after. So that's great too. We got new batteries. And now today is the day that we've been anticipating for so long and we are launching the boat today for the first time. Please note, we have never seen this boat on the water before. So this is literally, we're quite nervous. <laughs> Evan is quite nervous. So it's gonna be quite interesting. So first of all, we're gonna go eat some lunch and then we're just gonna take you guys along the entire ride. You guys really need to comment down below because sink or swim. <laughs> No. Sink or float. Because if we're sinking, we're gonna have to swim. So Yeah, no. okay, so No no no. It's sink or make it. Comment please sink right or now. Float. Sink or float. Sink or float. Do you guys think it's gonna sink or it's gonna float? I mean, we have no idea. As you guys can see, Evan's wiring worked because the bilge pump is working. We're on the way to put some gas in the boat. Put some fuel. Let's put some fuel. I think we're gonna put 89 or 91. 91? Yeah, we're gonna put 91 in. For first the first time. time. I want it to be like clean. And there's shit gas in there right now. It's like really old, so we want to put something really good in there to so it starts up. And now we're gonna guess how much it's gonna cost. But how, no, many, how gallons? many gallons? How many gallons? How many gallons? Because we have no idea how many gallons the tank is. If um, there's any boaters out there, mm -hmm. comment below. Let we us have know. A, we have a Mercury mm -hmm. 250. Two stroke. What are you doing? <laughs> Yamaha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yamaha two stroke 250. It's whatever, an oldie. Whatever, 1989? 92, actually. 92. And I think it's going to put 100 gallons. 100 <laughs> gallons? That would cost $400 of gas. Oh, okay. I say, <laughs> well, how much does my truck have? 23. What? 23 gallons. That's it? That's my lucky number. Is, is a two-stroke engine bigger or smaller than a but car engine? But it has engine? nothing to do with the engine. Baby. Oh, it's the size of the tank. Uh oh <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. Look at that way. Oh boy. Oh my god, now he's hitting himself. <laughs> okay, so I think it's gonna be realistically 40 gallons. What about you? Me too, I think 150 bucks, 200 bucks. No, no, we're asking the gallons. I, 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 gallons, I, I say guess. 50 gallons. I said 40, you say 50? You say I, what? I say 45. What are the odds that this is my lucky number? What are the odds? Don't surprise me. The baby's screaming. Hi. Yeah, uh, the second time, 90 bucks. So we're at 180, wow. Yeah. So we just opened our live well and there was a freaking frog living in it. What the heck? Hi, buddy. Oh, sh Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. He is just going around town. Okay, so it's an old boat. It's a two-stroke motor, so you have to mix your fuel with your uh, with your two-stroke engine oil, which is the blue stuff that we're putting on here. And then we researched, and the best thing to do is do 50 parts to one, so 50 to one. But this thing only goes to 10.5 gallons, and we put in 27.44 gallons. So I did the math and I just divided it by 10.5 to know how many times we had to fill it up, which is 4.5 times. So we're gonna do this four and a half times. We found our funnel and we're gonna put that inside right now. Um, update, the fuel is mixed, but I hear thunder. Did you hear that thunder? It, there's legit a storm. <laughs> oh my God. This is just our luck. Literally, just our luck. <laughs> we thought there would be nobody, but it's jammed. And I think it's jammed because there is a storm coming. All right, so the game plan. Oh, let this guy go. Let's do it, we're gonna do it. We're literally gonna do it. That's it. Thank God he is. Years of experience. 
backing up trailers, guys. All right, so it's in. First launch, she's gonna try to start it. Battery's on. Motor's in. <laughs> it's the first time, oh my God. It's <laughs> Good. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. A lot of bubbles came out. Seems to be a little hole. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where it's from or what it's about, but a little I think idea. it has to do maybe about the boat. So I have a good message here. Let's give these people a call and see what the whole deal is. Put it on speaker. Voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just saw the beginning of this video and the boat's been a disaster. Um, now we're talking about this is like three months later. I tried calling the boat, uh, the boat mechanic. He left me a message this morning with some promising news and he told me like, hey, Evan, pass by the shop. I think I got this thing going good, so pass by. Yeah. Oh yeah. The verdict is, the boat is finally running. The whole dilemma with this boat has been that I bought it from a guy from Miami. They messed around with a lot of different parts, which is making it hard for us to locate problems. But now problems have been found. All the main little issues that we've been having are all completely found. Uh, there's two or three little things that need to be done, which I'm gonna do on my, on my free time while the boat's floating on the back of the dock. Good news is, is that we could go get the boat. Bad news is, is that another reason why we haven't been posting much on YouTube is I still have uh, some of my exams to do for our Florida contractor's license to open up our business here in Florida. I've been needing to take all the time that was necessary for me to study because these exams are very, very, very difficult and they're just not worth failing anymore because it takes up so much of my time studying and actually doing the exam because doing the exam is like takes seven and a half hours to do. I made a promise to myself that it needed to be done. We needed to take the time and set our priorities straight and uh, that was on the top of the list. So. Deja vu from the last time I was filming the truck, but we are officially leaving the house. Kids are packed, we packed the cooler, and it is a beautiful day. We're going to the boat ramp. So let's see how this turns out. Final thoughts before we go. How do you feel? Um, I don't know. Oh, I can't think anymore. <laughs> when this shit happens. Alright guys, 
Here we are again. Luckily, Evan has so much experience backing up trailers. So, oh, hello, buddies. All right. That just turned on. I'm not sure if that's normal. Probably. Um, you might need to straighten out. That's a little close. Yeah, he's gonna straighten out. Thank God we have a 4x4 four four guys. Oh my gosh, trying to film. Trying to film what he's doing. Yep, yep, it's floating. And we are in the water. So yeah. All right, let's see what Evan needs me to do. What do you need me to do? How is it? You're gonna unhook it, but isn't it gonna float away? Float. So let's see. You have your lines and everything? Okay. Ready? Let's go. the boys eating their chippies and then we got water. massive fish in the water <laughs> there's massive snook massive uh, tarpon oh my gosh so cool guys this is the first time we're going into our canal first time we're gonna see our house from the water we'll catch you guys once we're there so this is like the the big crisscross that we always see boats coming um, and then that, that's our neighbor in the front and that's us right there I can't point right now because I'm breastfeeding the baby but as you guys can see our neighbors there just close up their house oh wow so nice it is so neat to see your neighborhood from the water as opposed to through your own, like, oh, look at that. They have like a little side house right there with a huge net. That's really cool. Very cool. Kind of lucky that it's high tide too, so. That's our dock right there. 